Greetings and welcome to another impressions video here at Words About Games and today we're going to be looking at Apartment, a separated place. Apartment, a separated place is a narrative game, sort of like an anthology of short stories told using gameplay. You take on the role of Nick, an artist who just got dumped by Madison, his girlfriend of four years. As Nick, you reflect on the highs and lows of the relationship from beginning to end and beyond, as well as getting glimpses into the strained or broken relationships of his neighbours. Apartment is a raw look at relationships, specifically their difficulties and the oftentimes messy aftermath of their ending. The game approaches this from several angles thanks to its anthology-like structure, but primarily focuses on Nick in a story about a part of a relationship that is seldom told in media and very rarely in video games. What do you do after a breakup? You'll spend about half your time in Apartment seeking the answer. Sifting through the wreckage of Nick's failed relationship, exploring the apartment that he once shared with Madison, a place where everything within serves as some sort of reminder of a person who was once such an important part of his life. Even though she's long gone, you can still feel Madison's presence everywhere you look, a feat made all the more impressive by the fact that you never even meet her outside of flashbacks. As you explore the apartment, you hold down the mouse button, which can reveal bits and pieces of Nick's inner monologue, reminiscing about aspects of his relationship, asking existential questions, and trying to convince himself that he'll be okay without her. You can also interact with items that hold some kind of sentimental value, which will unlock beautifully drawn comic panels that eventually form stories from Nick and Madison's relationship. A fight they had in a New Year's party, the first time they had sex, the first time they said I love you, and more. You relive the relationship one small piece at a time, as Nick wanders his apartment trying to make sense of his new reality. It's a very effectively told narrative. Watching the relationship blossom and implode in a fractured, non-linear fashion had me invested in a love story that I already knew was doomed to failure. It was bittersweet watching Nick and Madison fall in love, and yet, even though I knew the outcome, I was still invested, thanks to the solid writing. Nick and Madison's story is interspersed with vignettes about the other residents of the apartment complex, each telling different stories centred around relationships of one kind or another, a grieving widower, a daughter of divorce, a confused newlywed, and a man who just moved to the big city. Their stories are very different from one another, and don't have quite as much breathing room as the main narrative, but they're just as effective looks at tough moments in relationships, reinforcing the central themes of loneliness and isolation. These vignettes are able to ask the same sorts of questions from the differing perspectives of a group of people who live vastly different lives, connected only by the virtue of living next door to each other. They're just as strongly written as the main story too, and equally as affecting, despite their short on runtime, perhaps more so because of it. One of them even had me in tears by the end, especially after reading one of the dedications during the end credits. These vignettes are where apartment can stretch its legs from a gameplay perspective. While Nick's sections all follow the same basic loop, explore, find key items, experience flashback comic, the different vignettes and the way their stories are told allow the game to explore a variety of different mechanics. Most are successful. Standouts include a writing section that sees you typing out sentences in a novel as you ignore the world around you, and not just because this is one of my favourite pastimes, I swear. Or exploring a different apartment as one character's thoughts appear on the scenery around them. In fact, to go on a minor tangent for a moment, I have to applaud Apartment's use of text. It could have been very easy for the developers to simply use text boxes, as would have been kind of standard for a game of this type. Instead, the Elsewhere company got creative, making its words central mechanics of gameplay or actual physical objects in the world itself. It's a creativity that's also on display in all the different ways you play the game. As I said, most of the mechanics work well. There were a couple of gameplay styles that didn't work quite so well, particularly a hidden item style mechanic that perhaps hid its items a little too well, causing me to constantly have trouble finding what I needed to progress to the next area, which ground the otherwise excellent pace of the game to a halt. But the beauty of these vignettes being so short means that anything that doesn't work is over quickly enough that you're moving on to the next section of the game before you know it, and anything that does work sticks in your mind as being particularly memorable. And thankfully, the latter far outweighs the former. Apartment a Separated Place is a really well-made series of short stories built around one central theme. I was invested both in the main narrative and each of the vignettes and eager to play them through to their conclusion, no matter how painful it was to see how they ended. I know I'm making Apartment sound like a downer, but the game does find a lot of hope in amongst its themes of loneliness and isolation, despite the terrible situations the characters find themselves in. 
If you're looking for a cool narrative game that's a bit different in the way it tells its stories, you should maybe cast a look at Apartment. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, consider sticking around here at Words About Games. Our content includes review impressions of games big and small, a weekly podcast dedicated to discussing the happenings in and around the games industry, weekly opinion videos, reactions, debate-driven top 5 and top 10 lists, a regular Hall of Fame series where we discuss our favourite games, and indie game spotlights. We also stream every Friday and Saturday at twitch.tv slash wordsaboutgames. Most importantly, have a brilliant day.